Welcome back to stage of the JLU 2.0 trail truck build. So this phase, I finally decided to start on the roof rack and lights. So you can see here I've got it laid out in front of me and I'll, I've just got to say the seller who makes this stuff, the designer, just awesome guy. Um, I ordered this roof rack and at the time he didn't even make lights and I asked him about LEDs and so he made up some lights here. He made up a light bar and actually has back buckets that will cover the LED and allow the uh, wiring to come out the bottom, go straight down. And then he sent me three different option sets of lenses. So one of them actually says KC on them. So I've got some choices there of, of how I want to do my light bar. And then he sent me a nice little high lift and some mounts. And then I asked him for a couple of ladders, so he threw in an extra. So just super accommodating. And then he sent me the first rack and it was glued together. And it was just a little too tight fitting on the body. I, I don't know if the, the bars just kind of set inward when it dried. Uh, but it just pinched it a little tight uh, the front and the back slipping it over so i was having a hard time getting it fitted enough to be able to actually position and, and drill the body out so i contacted him and he was super helpful and he sent me out this whole set uh, replacement rack unglued and he sent me two sets of bars one of them uh, a couple of millimeters longer than the other set uh, just in case I was still having some fitment width issues. So anyways, I took the original one and heated up the joints at the top and kind of bent it outward a little and uh, shaved, dremeled off a little of the mount and was able to fit that one to another body. So I test fitted that one, drilled it, um, got it fitted, and then I actually dry fit this one onto that other body uh you know of course didn't glue it with the longer mounts and uh now i feel pretty comfortable i think to actually uh mount it and you know and poke some holes in this body and get it mounted in there now that i've done it um i've dry fit it and i've fitted that other rack um on kind of this throwaway body over here um so that's that's helpful Gave me a little more confidence so i think i'm going to jump into this for real now uh, get it all on there and then um i can start moving forward with actually wiring in some lights let's see if i can actually close this freaking body there we go that feels better so anyways i'm going to get going on this uh, bad boy see if i can't get it assembled uh and on there all right Got the rack on, glued together. It's looking sweet. Now I've got to uh, pull it off and start working on wiring in the light bar. Um, one other thing that I did was I noticed this hole was punched off center. Uh, on my other 0, 0.0 body I was working on, I came back, looked at this one. Uh, it was as well. Um, it's really hard to tell. Um, so rather than wallow that out, potentially mess up the paint, I swapped out my unglued mount, uh, or unmagnet glued mount from my 0, 0.0, uh, chopped the nub off of that, and then, uh, glued on magnets to align with the hood on this one. So you can see they're back, they're kind of rearward into the passenger, that's how far it was off. Um, but that got this centered up now. So we're square on the grill, the fenders are even. Um, the sticker will get replaced at the end of the build. It will not stay put. Um, so that's looking good. And then as I was getting this out to start working on the, the lighting, my uh, drive shaft fell out of the front again. I mentioned that last time. Um, you can see it there hanging. So the metal Drive shafts I ordered came in, and you can see how much longer that inner shaft is on both of these. So, 
you should have no issue with those pulling out of the front anymore. So as I was waiting on this rack to uh, glue up and dry, uh, I went ahead and did some more painting. So I found that with this uh, Surpass motor mount, you can fit an interior. So I was questioning that on my prior build. I was going for a, a tiny motor thinking I couldn't fit it, but um, looks like it'll fit in there just perfectly. So went ahead and painted up the interior, uh, the same gray uh, accents to match the body. Uh, it pays to keep the little bit of leftover spray paint, it comes in handy. So anyways, I'm going to uh, pop these drive shafts in first so I can kind of put this chassis to bed and stop those from falling out and then I'll get on to the lighting and keep this thing moving. So a quick update here, uh, working on these links. Uh, I was down here and noticed, uh, I've been noticing that this has been backing out so I've been waiting to put a little Loctite on it but also because that's a, a 1.4 versus this is a M2. There's a little wiggle, uh, and especially over the height of that thing, it's so tall. So I wrapped it with some tape to take up the slack, and I'm about to lock tight that thing in. So hopefully that should take up a little of the play I was getting in that connection. All right, some progress here. Uh, got it kind of marked out on the uh, roof there between the basket and then the back bar and uh, got our LEDs in and I just gave them all a, a quick test just to make sure before I start uh, gluing on the back caps and the front lenses. So I think I'm going to use just a little bit of shoe goo there that way I can potentially you know change out the LEDs if they go bad uh, or swap the lenses you know in the future whatnot but rather than super glue where it's just there um, I think that may be the solution. Um, another thing, I got all this stuff uh, packed in there and routed. Um, I took a cue from my other build and mounted this switch vertical. I like that, space saver. Took the motor wires under the battery tray. Um, and you can see they come out here and plug into the lizard. And they kind of double back and zip tie to take up that slack. Um, and then you've got the lizard on off switch right here, which is nice. And then this is just a little servo slack, uh, double sided the Bluetooth to the receiver, uh, double sided the receiver down to the uh, fender flare and uh, the inner fender. So that's all kind of tucked away, uh, neat and nice. Um, you know, when it's plugged in, it'll lay flat, and this is, you know, I'll tuck this uh, antenna down. But it should all be low, well, I'll get this taped down for safety. We'll, we'll tape separation there. But, uh, it, you know, the goal is to keep it all lower than the uh, mount and the motor. So I can drop that interior tray in there, no problem. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm liking how that worked out and I, I didn't end up using the ESC tray. I'm just trying to keep that as clear of wires and, you know, around that bell that's, that's going to be moving. Um, I'm going to bring some bumper lights up and through or I guess over to the switch. So, um, don't think I want to route them that way. Um, we'll see if I can go down the fender. If not, I may have to come this way and back over to get to the switch just to avoid that motor. But uh, yeah, it's coming along and it's kind of tucking in nicely and, and neatly. Uh, so offset some of that motor weight with the ESC being over here in the receiver. Um, so, all right, time for, time for a little uh, shoe goo and some uh, holes to be poked in the roof and you know what this means. There's always that potential to ruin it. But uh, you can see the, the holes in the side for the rack, they came out fine. Um, 
and these are actually easy because you've got the basically the line to center it on so it's basically you know on that body line and then center it above the lights and you know below kind of the crease for the uh, two-piece roof and then the front is a shorter uh, post so you just kind of level it up and then uh, you've got two body lines so it makes it easy to align it from side to side there in that corner um, so that you know once once I was able to fit it that wasn't super hard and it helped to have it in pieces to assemble it um, and kind of do it you know assemble it and mock it up and then glue it but uh, the only additional thing I ended up doing was I did dremel off a little of each of these uh, mounting faces just to kind of match the, the taper of the body and the, the angle and that helped it just seat down without wanting to flex out because if, if these points flex outward it makes these bars want to bow um, because all of these connection points come out perpendicular to the bar if you know the bar was leaning and those connection points were coming out you know horizontal so there was actually an angle there you would not get that bow but I mean you can see that here there's a little line to the body or you've got to you know come out and go straight up and have these bars long enough to allow it to come straight up but you know then your rack is you know super wide at the at the roof level and it doesn't really need to be so you know I'm, it's, I'm super nitpicky and this is an awesome rack I'm super impressed with it and putting together these uh, lights it feels like a kit almost uh, it's super fun um, just could not be more impressed uh, with this guy's design and craftsmanship and yeah, I mean I gotta say the 3d printing it's really like really well done um, it's yeah, it feels close. This rack almost seems injection molded. I mean, it's really nice stuff. Um, and these, you know, the bar clamps, the ladder clamps, these outer racks really snugly, but then you can slide it side to side and adjust it. So, you know, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. And I actually was going to screw the rack to the roof, um, which he said he doesn't do. He just attaches these points, you know, but you can attach this rack separately. Um, but once I had this attached, I don't, you know, it's pretty, pretty dang snug. So I don't know if I'm going to put in little spacers and screw into the roof for the rack. I think I may just keep it here. But anyways, enough chatter about that. Uh, I'll get moving. All right. Let's see what's under the weight here. Look at this thing. That is sweet. Decided to do a little mix uh, of lenses here. Um, I looked at doing the KC lenses. They look really good, um, unlit, but then they're kind of opaque when they're lit. So I wanted to go with clear lenses here to get the light shining through. But you can see these nice back buckets, and I've got these coming straight down, so that ought to be super clean. Um, just go right between the bar and the basket behind it. So next thing is to uh, get these guys popped through the roof and then I'm gonna have to bring them together once they're installed and get them wired up to a plug. All right, back a little update here before I get the interior and the body back on. I've got uh, kind of everything routed where I want it and kind of secured to the body there. Got that whip for the lights coming down uh, off of the roof rack. And then I'm doing that a little different as far as wiring. You can see I've got uh, several plugs coming off of that. And then I've got my main uh, plug here for my 
two tail lights that split off. And then I've got a little extension here that connects to my headlights and brings those back, gives them enough slack to let this body hinge open. Um, so that's about ready to get back on, but before I do that, I want to get the uh, CC hand mirrors on <clears throat> because those help kind of hold, uh, they kind of, the bolts on the inside sit right under this interior tray, so they kind of help support that in the front. You can see I've got it cut out in the back uh, for that uh, light bar whip. And then I've got the other Jeep out here just kind of to reference uh, where I put the mirrors. Just a quick visual. But uh, yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, everything is wired up except for the bumper lights. So I've still got to pull the bumper, do a little work on it. Um, so I'm going to get moving here, hopefully uh, finish up this segment pretty quick. All right, got this thing finished up here with the lighting, got the bumper lights in. Man, I'm so excited. This thing is looking so cool. Um, so I can pop it up in here, show you the guts. So of course we've got that interior in. Uh, got my headlight extension down. So I've got kind of my two two plugs here that go on a splitter. So I've got my tail lights and then my headlights coming off of these guys. Um, then I've got my light bar coming down, and I've got one going in, one going in, and then a splitter, and that splitter ties into the bumper lights. Um, and I did route it over on this side, but I've got plenty of space. And I use some trusty double side down there to keep that in place. So still got plenty of uh, space around this guy, plenty of clearance. So let me uh, let me get this. Oh, one other thing I had to do was uh, trim up the spare tire carrier mount a little bit. To get adequate opening, and I would say that I've gotten it. I think you can open any any more than that. Um, so that it worked out nicely. Um, so everything uh, everything came out as expected, and everything tucked in under the interior. Uh, the mirrors are on, and they look killer. So let me get this. Uh, plugged in and turned on. Headlights looking good. Taillights looking good. But that's not really what everybody wants to see. So how about those? Ooh, nice. Booyah. Everything. So yeah, I've got my uh, I got my fogs and my spots on the roof rack tied together, and then I've got my kind of all amber quad, you know, section in the middle by itself, and then everything, and then just headlights. So yeah, that's, could not be happier with this roof rack and lights. And I just gotta say, check this seller out. This stuff is awesome. Look at that bad boy. So you know what's next. I've gotta get some, uh, gotta get some gear on this thing. Get this thing outfitted for an expedition. So it can stand up next to the JLU Trail Truck 1.0 build. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I will be getting a update shortly with kind of the, the final elements and trail gear and a few little details that I'm still planning on doing. Um, but that should basically finish this thing up. I'm telling you, it is a beast. It is a beast. I am loving it. Oh, love it. Nice. Nice.